hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. I want to talk about, and this can go out any time this video, there's no rush for it because it's not uh, one that can just go out any time if ever I feel like having a day off. Uh, why am I here? Uh, I want to talk about robberies in Germany over years. Uh, you might have seen a lot of decisions go against foreign fighters isn't there, in Germany, that's what I think and uh, I think it needs looking at I think it needs looking at a lot because uh, I can explain it I think at the moment it's toned itself down a bit and in Germany not many not everybody wants to go there to fight now do they they all go to America or England but Germany's I don't think it's it had a bit of power at one point didn't it Germany with Kala, Sauland and that but the robberies I want to talk about are just against Brit guys basically there's a couple against Americans but <laughs> Robin Reed against Sven Ocker Robin Reed against Sven Otger, did, did everybody see that fight? That's probably one of the worst ever ones I've watched in front of my eyes. That Duke McKenzie, he said, I've been involved in boxing 30 years and I've never seen something that's a disgrace. And Roger Tillerman was the referee. If you want to know about boxing robberies, go and watch Robin Reed against Sven Otker, S-V-E-N-O-T-T-K-E, YouTuber. It's in a part one to six on the BBC. Go and watch that if you want to know about robberies in, in Germany. That was a shocking fight, that. Robin Reed dropped him in one at rounds and referee turned it into a 10-8 for other guy. He never gave the the point for dropping him, he took a point off for some foul or something, or oh. shocking video, shocking video, sh shocking uh, fight, sorry, shocking fight. So the Robin Reed one is the worst one I've ever seen, I think. I'm not just saying that because I got on with Robin, that was terrible. The Murray one, Martin Murray one against Sturm, I thought that were bad. I thought that was really bad, Martin Murray against um, and I thought I don't know, uh, what other one? There's another one as well, Macklin against Felix Sturm, that was shocking. He clearly won seven or eight rounds, I don't know what was going on there. Macklin against Sturm, I think he can count his seven, very unlucky there. That were in front of your eyes, that but it wasn't as worse as the Robin Reed one, but it were a robbery. So that they leave bad taste in my mouth, things like that. Bad decisions. I think so. Bad decisions like that, it's not good. No, not good. There's been a few other ones of it years though, over there. Glenn Johnson against Sven Otka. Or what other one? Byron Mitchell, all bad decisions then, bad decisions, really really bad decisions. And I can understand now why the Cobra didn't want to fight there with Arthur Abraham, they got it in a neutral place, didn't they, Finland? Bashed him up anyway, Abraham, smoked him, didn't knock him out but just bashed him up. But Germany's a terrible place, I think France has done some bad ones as well over years. Pernell Whitaker, forgot the guy with Ramirez or something, I might have it wrong, might have that wrong. Pernell Whitaker got robbed, I think they get it a draw, didn't they? The other one, Josh Whale against that French kid for European title, that was shocking in France. So, but I think Germany's the daddy out of Europe. Are England gonna end up like that? I hope not. We don't seem to have any big fights no more, do we? 
I mean, they're talking about Joshua Pool after Tottenham's ground now. They're dragging it out for the Saudi money. That's what they're doing. They're dragging it out, hoping that one of them sheiks throws them a, a few more big bones. Because that's what it's all about now, isn't it? Bones. Big bones. But it is what it is, isn't it? Oh. 7.35 7.35 Wednesday the know, 13th This will probably be a week to go out this There's no rush for these for these few videos today No rush We're well on top with videos now We're getting into a, a routine We're getting structure Not obviously me doing it There's obviously got people pulling me about And putting me in the right direction and that I've dropped on dropped on little bones though little KFC bones there's no big T bones for porky it's little tiny ones you know like chicken bone you're getting a chicken there's a bit of bone a bit of meat on that You've got to build it up haven't you so but other than that I'm all right so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing I'll be in at eight o'clock so that's 12 hours in it more or less just under People can't say I don't put the time in. And then when I get in, it'll be two hours of a computer. That's 10 o'clock. So, if you want it, you've got to take it. You've got to go try at least, haven't you? Alright, but there's some big treats for you all in the next couple of weeks on channel. I hope you just enjoy what we're doing. It's free to subscribe. We're not pay per view. But. The gentleman who was asking about hats and mugs, I don't know, it's all a bit up in the air. I'll, uh, I'm going to mention it, but I'm not bothered about doing clothing. I don't know, it's finding time to mess about with it, or if somebody else wants to mess about with it, it's up to them. But I'm all for hats because I'm always wearing an hat, aren't I? Wear a Dennis hat, put a. Uh, get a porky one on, get a porky hat on. <laughs> Uh, this one here. We've got porky mugs, might get a porky art. Eh? Do a limited edition porky arts. 50 on, only fi, on, only only 50 ever made. <laughs> so alright. Good time here. So shout out to the sponsors who are backing me, you know who you are. Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? See you later. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.